Here are all the PC parts in your PC explained. This right here is the CPU and it's basically the brains of your PC. It does all the mathematical calculations and all the code. It plugs into the motherboard as is everything in your PC and the motherboard is just somewhere where everything plugs into so your PC can actually operate. This right here is a CPU cooler, often mislabeled as a CPU fan. That is wrong because it comes with a heatsink, it's not just a fan. This right here is RAM. It's often called memory as well in PC shops and what it basically is is short-term storage for whatever code your CPU is currently running and operating and calculating right now. This is an SSD. This is an M.2 SSD. It also comes in a different form factor called a 2.5 inch drive, like the one over here. It also has different interfaces like NVMe, eSATA and SATA, which I might explain another day. These are hard drives. Like SSD, they do long-term storage, but they're quite a bit slower, but they're a lot cheaper to get big capacities. So if you want big data storage, hard drives are your better option. This whole thing right here is called a PC, not a CPU, a PC. And the case itself is just a PC case, not a CPU case. And this right here, is a GPU. What it basically does is it takes its instructions from the CPU and turns that into a visual image you can understand. It's actually the thing that affects your gaming performance the most. Down here there is a power supply and it's not generating power or anything but it is actually a converter that turns the AC power from your wall into DC power that your PC parts can actually understand and use. And that is all for your different PC parts in your PC. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you follow for more.